What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm finally, and I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally bringing you my review of the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum Gaming Wireless Mouse. That's, that's a lot. Okay, before we hop right into this review, I just want to throw out there that it was not easy to actually review this mouse for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, I was always mentally comparing it to wired mice, and if you're reviewing a wireless mice, you expect wireless performance, but it, it has to stack up against the wired mice because of not only the price, but really how good it is. It's not fair to put this mouse against other wireless opponents. So if you're wondering about whether this mouse matches up with other wireless mice in the performance category, let me just save you the effort of watching the rest of this video. And yeah, it does. And it's totally worth the price um, if you're looking for a wireless mouse. So let's hop right into just the specs of the mouse just to get that right out of the way immediately. First off, the sensor in this mouse is phenomenal. It is rocking that sensor that goes between 200 and 12,000 DPI, and that is completely up to your discretion where you want that to be. Yes, this is an ambidextrous mouse, by the way, so if you are a lefty and you use your left hand as your mouse hand primarily, then you will have no problems with this mouse whatsoever. It is using a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection and can pull up to 1,000 hertz, which I do recommend using. There are up to to 11 programmable buttons for those of you that will be using this as a gamer. Um, also those switches are those 20 million click rated Omron switches, two lighting zones for that RGB effect and by the way I would also note that the RGB on this mouse is really really good. Um, it, it looks crisp, the two zones match pretty much perfectly so uh, high grades for the RGB used it, it, it doesn't look washed out at all. At least in my mind, it, it looks really, really good. Um, the weight is 107 grams, and in case you're really interested in the length, width, and depth, it is 130 millimeters long, 67 wide, and just 40 millimeters tall. Also, um, and, I, and I may do this as a completely separate review or overview at some point, but the Logitech gaming software is really, really good. Um, it's It's better in every way than the G skill software that my keyboard uses. So high grades right there for that. Next, I want to talk about the button layout. The button layout here is, is just really, again, just, and you'll know, notice that I'm going to say this a lot, but the button layout is really, really great with this mouse. You have the option of switching between using bars or buttons, um, on the left and right side to block off some buttons. Um, Again, if you are a lefty, you may want to switch the buttons around so you're using the right side buttons instead of the left side buttons primarily as your back and forward button. Also, the buttons have this nice little carrying case that makes it really easy not to lose them for a change. Also, there's this um, little adapter that gives you the option of having your receiver extended with a cable, which again, really, really great that that's included. You can get that on your desk if you need it to be. I already have a USB hub, so that is completely unnecessary for me, but still great to have that option. And the battery life, I do want to go over quickly. Um, they have it rated at, I believe, and I could be completely wrong. You'd have to double check or I'll double check for you. They have it rated at 36 hours if you leave the lighting completely off. They have it rated at 24 hours if you have the lighting on. I will say that roughly that seems to be about what I was getting out of it. I never turned lighting off because I one of the reasons I got the mouse was because I really like the lighting effects anyways, although if battery life is getting lower and you can't plug in immediately, then you may want to switch off the battery or switch off the lighting to save some battery life, and that, that works just fine. Now I will say that the scroll wheel is super, super awesome, um, primarily because it has a button that can unlock the scroll wheel and let it free spin, and the spin lasts a while, to say the least. It spins and spins and spins if you give it a good spin, and the button is very conveniently located. Also, right behind that button are the two DPI buttons. Those also work really, really well. You can obviously program those to be whatever you want, which I do some in the gaming software to change those buttons around if I need access to another um, function. 
the switches are great, the buttons are great, the feel in the hand, if you're a palm grip user like me, is again phenomenal. Uh, I, I, I can't speak highly enough about the mouse from the design standpoint. Now from a tracking standpoint, this is where most wireless mice fall completely apart. Um, you can look up the numbers that uh, Logitech has been using to sort of showcase this sensor and this mouse, pitting it against other wired mice and it actually coming on, out on top. And I'll tell you from a gaming perspective, I would agree that it seems like it does indeed actually come out on top, um, at, at least if nothing else, it's on par with the wired mouse I used to use. I never once noticed a lag with one ex exception in game, and that exception, I don't even think that was the mouse's fault. The entire game stuttered, so I attribute that not to the mouse, but to the actual game itself. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not scientific enough to know exactly what the latency was compared to other wired mice that I've used, but I'll say this. I never once noticed that it was a wireless mouse that I was using. It never once came to my mind that, hey, this is a wireless mouse. And I will say that um, interference was never an issue, and I live in an apartment building where there are plenty of other wireless networks going on around me. Never once was that an issue. However, your results may vary. Also worth pointing out that my sensor, uh, or the mouse itself, is roughly a foot and a half from its receiver with clear line of sight. So depending on where you put that receiver, your results, well, they may vary. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't do a click sound test for you guys um, with these pretty awesome Omron, Omron switches. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just do that. And we're just gonna sort of click around for a second with this mouse. Everything I mentioned brings me into the conclusion for the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum gaming mouse. And that conclusion is actually really easy. Yes, it's totally worth $150, at least in my experience. The software rocks. Uh, the build quality is super, super good. Um, I don't feel like it has any creaks or in any way feels cheap to me. The, the, the button presses are crisp every single time. The lighting effects are great. But most importantly for a gaming mouse is the sensor is phenomenal. They're, they're not once in the few weeks I've been using it now, or the couple few weeks, I think it's two full weeks that I've had it now, not once has this sensor stuttered, tripped up, or jumped around the screen in any sort of way. It's always been perfect. Since I have plugged in the receiver, I have not once even, I've never even felt the need to plug in the wire to actually use it for more than a couple seconds in the wired mode because the wireless mode is so perfect. So if you're looking for a wired mouse replacement to maybe clean up your desk a little bit, maybe get just that freedom of not having to worry about a wire floating around all the time, then the G900 is totally the way to go. Um, the way I understand it, Logitech is coming out with a, a more budget-friendly uh, wireless mouse that uses the same sensor. Um, I haven't heard a whole lot about that, so keep your ears uh, tuned for that. Uh, but right now, the G900 for $150, it's by far the most I've ever spent on the mouse. And I would totally buy it again. There is absolutely in my... And by the way, this is in no way... Obviously, I'm a small YouTube channel. This is in no way sponsored or anything. This is in my setup. I have absolutely zero buyer's remorse for this mouse. I cannot endorse it enough. It is phenomenal. And if your experience varies in a, a way from that where it's not phenomenal, you may want to actually just get it returned and pick up a different one because it's probably a defective mouse and it's not the design's fault, it's just a bad sensor or something like that. Because in my, in my use, absolutely 
awesome mouse. If I were giving it some sort of numbering rating, I would give it like a 9.9, .9, and that's only because I believe that perfect 10 doesn't exist in life in general. There's no such thing as perfection. There's always minor things you could change. You could say add a little bit more lighting here or change the weight here. My perfection is not your perfection, but I give it the highest endorsement I could possibly give it. It, it may be my favorite thing in my setup outside of the computer itself. Well, that's it for the G900. Uh, great mouse. Um, and if you would like to figure out a place to buy your own, I suggest that affiliate link down below where you can purchase this very mouse on Amazon. Uh, that sort of thing helps me out a lot. Also, um, if you would like to follow the channel, please like that button down below. Also, you can hit that subscribe button down below because those things also help me out a lot. And last but not least, you can go to Twitter. My handle is at Hoosier Hardware. That's where you can find me to chat back and forth. Maybe tell me how terrible this video was or maybe be nice and tell me how great it was. So that's all from me. Until next time, see ya.